Good morning, everybody. I'm going to share with you a little Devo again that I had this morning. And today what I did with my Devo time is I actually spent it listening to some good worship music and just allowing God to uh, take control of my heart and my mind um, and my spirit during this time and everything. But then as I was doing that, I also, um, there's this book that, in my opinion, it's a really fantastic book. I want to recommend you guys to read it if you haven't had the opportunity to read it yet. Um, it's a very motivational kind of a book. But there was a, uh, a quote in it that kind of like popped out to me as I was like cruising through some different things that I highlighted and everything. And it made me think of some passages as well. And I wanted to share this with you. But the quote that really stood out to me was, the most important choice you make every day is your attitude. Your internal attitudes are far more important than your external circumstances. Joy is mind over matter. And I think that, that is a really cool concept to think about, you know, that joy is mind over matter. But as I was thinking about it, it was making me think that, you know, from God's perspective, what he wants us to do is he wants us to take control over our thoughts so we can give him control over our day. Um, and the verse that stood out to me was in 2 Corinthians 10, 5, and it says, we demolish arguments in every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought and uh, to make it obedient to Christ. And so like in our day, it's like really important for us to wake up and to intentionally uh, set our minds, you know, be like, this is how I'm going to live my life. This is how I want to live my life. But then we also need to f figure out like, who do we want to live our lives for? Because that makes a huge difference too. And in that verse, you know, it says that we're supposed to take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So we take captive, but not to keep control for ourselves, but we take captive so we can make it obedient to Christ. And so that's just something that I've found that's been... Um, so true in my own life. You know, I wake up in the morning and if I go through my day just, you know, doing my day, you know, I don't really think about how I want to live or who I want to live for, but I just go and just jump into the day. A lot of times I end up becoming a victim of the circumstances of the day. You know, I just naturally react based on what I feel like in the moment and stuff because, you know, I didn't intentionally set my mind on this is how I want to react to situations I face in my day. Um, I'm basically just going through life blind at that point. But if I take a moment in my morning to just really set my mind on this is how I want to live, this is who I want to live for, and recognize God as um, the one that's in control of my life, then that gives me the ability to be set free from, you know, trying to, you know, from being a victim to the things that happen. It also sets me free from the exhaustion of trying to keep control myself because we can take captive of our day, but then it, that can be an exhausting thing, you know. But what God wants to do is he wants us to take control so we can give, uh, take charge, we can give him control so that he can give us a sense of peace and he can give us his sense of joy throughout that day and we don't have to get exhausted by trying to maintain it in our own strength, but he sustains our ability to keep control over today and to be able to really live it for his glory. So that was just a little diva that I had, some thoughts that I had in my morning, and I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope that um, we're all able to have a joy-filled day, and I'll talk with you guys later. Hello, students. Hope you enjoyed the little diva that I gave you guys. Um, tonight, we're not going to be able to have youth group, unfortunately, but we are still going to be having a Zoom meeting, uh, Bible study at 515. So if you want to get connected to that, I sent out a link to your parents so you can get connected through that. But you can also um, go on the Hangouts. I'm posting it there as well. And it's just the same link that we always used to use in the past. So if you're planning on coming on, give me a heads up, and I look forward to seeing you tonight.